Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project, it's Tony here. In this quick video today I'm going to show you how to apply a major upgrade from Android 12 to Android 13 on the Leica Lights Phone 1. Now this method will work on, I can imagine, any other Leica, uh, you know, Lights phones as well as on many other Japanese phones simply because, you know, Japan is making it hard and is making it restrict the usage of their, um, you know, Japanese exclusive products for decades pretty much. However, there's always a workaround, guys. So, in my particular case, I just got the like Lights Phone uh, 1 from Japan. And of course, uh, being in the UK, I cannot apply the update. Check this out. I have the phone just reset pretty much. It's connected to my uh, Wi-Fi over here. And if I go to, let's see, system system update the phone will say android version 12 security patch from december 2012 which pretty much i'm filming this video just in the end of 2024 well two years old update which is not correct in other videos with other phones if you connect them to a vpn uh, that's pretty much the workaround however it does not work on this phone um well i've tried because i had another unit a couple of months ago i have the review posted on my channel and of course i sold it straight away after that because i wasn't really impressed actually quite the opposite of this particular device however that doesn't mean that we shouldn't upgrade and the answer to this question is how do we do that well we have to put a Japanese SIM card inside. Now, this particular SIM card over here, guys, um, is a SoftBank one, a prepaid one, apparently. I had to cut it off because originally it was a big size uh, SIM card. It's not a perfect cut, but we'll definitely uh, get the job done. Guys, um, the, the, the situation is how exactly you're going to buy one. Well, currently... In the UK, there is a listing on Amazon for one of those cards. I'm going to put it in the description down below. If you're not in the UK, well, you can still check Amazon. If not, you're going to have to use forwarding services like Bayi, for example, or Sendico or stuff like that uh, to import it from Japan. It's going to be a little bit expensive, but considering these are, uh, you know, quite uh, expensive phones to begin with, then it's kind of worth it because it eliminates a couple of issues. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually factory reset the phone, guys. Uh, this is necessary to clear the cache and everything else in the phone and to forget its actual location. The idea is that the phone gets information from the SIM card that you've put and if it senses that this is a non-Japanese SIM card, it's not going to issue the update as simple as that and if you put this magical sim card i'm going to show you how easy it is i'm going to fast forward this video now and i'm going to see you in a second pretty much okay guys the phone is now reset and all i'm going to do is i'm going to put my japanese sim card inside and you're going to see how quickly it happens it's very peculiar that actually the phone is not sim locked which is very unusual they usually are however you still have the issue with the update guys so basically as you can see i'm putting back my japanese sim card over here i have to be careful not to bend the pins inside because i didn't cut it um you know properly to begin with uh so yeah um i have no idea what the phone is saying it's rebooting now and i've noticed that with this particular device is that um it reboots the phone every time you swipe uh, the sim so that's why it was a good idea to do just factory reset and after that reboot the phone and from here you don't have to use any vpns you don't have to use uh, any special tweaks or anything like that guys i'm just going to lock the focus on the phone now there we go i'll show you how it's done it's pretty much straightforward and you get the update straight away so what we're going to do is we're going to skip the um update process i mean the the setup process so united kingdom there we go start okay set up offline that's what we're gonna do now okay continue here and i really like the fact that uh, you can you can disable the use location over here you can enable it later on in the settings 
pretty much you press accept you press skip over here it's very easy to skip the whole process i really really like that so what we're gonna do is i'm going to connect it to my wi-fi network over here guys just give me one second i'm going to do this off camera of course okay it's connecting now and pretty much there we go guys um we're connected and we are currently online so let's have a look what is happening over here we're gonna press on the settings here we're gonna go to system and then system update and boom there you go straight away guys let me focus on the camera once again 1.76 gigabytes of update that is probably the android 13 version if it's not there will be another update after that and pretty much that's all you have to do guys i'm not sure how many benefits does this introduce uh, in this particular device but you know i can imagine it's better and it will prolong the life of the android and the supported apps with a couple of years that's pretty much the case with any other new version i can imagine it's gonna take some time to download and install the update but there we go guys pretty much this is the only workaround which works with these devices just get the softbank uh you know japanese uh, sim card even if it's not active it doesn't really matter my sim card is really really old and it just worked um so yeah i'm not sure what's gonna happen if you take any other japanese sim card like the docomo for example but you know uh, there is no way for me to know pretty much because i don't feel like buy another uh, buy another sim card just for the testing purposes because this one works now i'm not sure what exactly happened uh, let me see <laughs> let me see oh here okay, guys are we still on the update or we aren't um let me have a look oh well yes it's downloading uh so yeah okay so pretty much that is it guys let me know if it helped for you let me know what device are you using um i mean i'll be glad to know that it works on other devices not only this one so let me know in the comment section below what is happening did it work for you or if you have any other workarounds i'll be glad to hear but yeah finally now it is downloading the update guys so yeah happy updating um well merry christmas happy new year as well and i'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much for watching and see ya later